Hey, hi, welcome to the second episode of the Google's most asked questions on diabetes. So let's get started. Do I have to take insulin? Whether you need insulin or uh, you don't require insulin depends actually on the type of diabetes, you know, that you're being diagnosed with. Yes, people with type 1 diabetes, they do require insulin, but for people with type 2 diabetes, Insulin might be required in if, if they are able to make appropriate lifestyle changes, oral medications can do the job but that's not sufficient when they have multiple complications and comorbidities. So let's go to the next question. Should I avoid any specific types of foods or drinks? So the first and the foremost one is limit the intake or avoid sugary beverages refined carbonated beverages and of course saturated and trans fats which are highly highly processed foods and um, of course alcohol has to be limited and this is something that we need to practice. So the next question is how often should we check our blood sugar levels at home? So checking your blood sugar levels at home is recommended I know as per your healthcare professional or your doctor would have you know guided you probably follow that. For people with type 1 diabetes, we often recommend them to check multiple times. But for type 2, the frequency absolutely depends on the treatment plan and your overall health. But remember, keep checking so that you know what are the changes that you need to make in your lifestyle to have a better control. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. It says, what is the best treatment method? to treat diabetes whether it's allopathy or Ayurveda. So when we talk about allopathy and Ayurveda definitely it is individual preference. When we talk about allopathy it's often the medications like insulin and oral drugs which has been emphasized on while when we talk about Ayurveda it includes probably the changes in the dietary modifications they can put you on herbal supplements so definitely it should be an individual preference before you take up any treatment please check with your healthcare professional on what is more suitable for you and then get along with the treatment let's go to the next question what levels of sugar is deadly well when we say what levels of sugar is deadly anything above the normal is not good but in general, if you need to answer this question, we, we have to say this. If your sugars are exceeding more than 600, it is definitely considered to be like really high and it can associate with a lot of serious complications. The threshold for every individual is totally different. So please get in touch with your healthcare professional to understand what is deadly for you. So let's go to the last question. Is diabetes genetic? Yes, it is genetic. As I said, if it is type 1 diabetes, is there anybody in the family who already have a history of type 1 diabetes? Yes, the risk factor of developing type 1 diabetes is really high. When we talk about type 2, the genetic factors play an important role in the development of type 2 diabetes. If you have a parent or a sibling who have developed type 2 diabetes, you are under the risk of developing type 2 as well. These were the six questions, you know, which was asked. Uh, hope these answers were helpful. See you in the next video. Thank you.